I, I just, not like crazy chaos problems all the time. To me, chaos just means not so structured and order. You bring the fun. Like if you want to sit at home and really do nothing all day, that's cool. But like, uh, and then you go to work and you go to bed and then you cook and that's great. But then we bring other fun. So we, hey, let's go do this random thing today. Or, hey, look what I found. Or, hey, let's go. Um, I got a new game. You want to do it with me? Like it's not chaos in a bad way. It's chaos in a, in a fun way. Like to me, I would just be bored. All, I, I don't know. I guess it is preference because I actually like feminine men. I'm a more masculine woman. So um, I, I do mm -hmm. like a little bit of chaos. And I do like my silence at the same time. So, but to me, chaos is just fun. I just use chaos because fun can be chaotic a lot of times. So, Marcus, oh. imagine two poodles just running around the house. That's this her one. And her <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but I would say I would say that's fun, not chaos. Fun is fun. Chaos is chaos. A poodle oh. is chaos, bro. Well, I wasn't talking about the damn poodle, man. No, I, that's what I said. I said her and her boyfriend or man is like two poodles running around the house. And she said, yeah, I agree. When you said chaos, I was thinking like you busting windows out. You showing no. up at the job. You filing no. police reports on people. No. You, no. you cheating with the best I mean, friend. Excitement. Like you. I use, the, I use the word wrong word. I use, ex I mean, excitement. Okay. Excitement. excitement is yeah, yeah. Don, I'm glad you kind of walked that one back because uh, those two things are not the same. Oh, they're, they're the same. Okay. It's chaos, bro. It's chaos. No, it's not. Having somebody that wants to introduce new things and fun and stuff like that is not yeah. chaos. All right. Y'all yeah. made her walk that back. I think she was she meant chaos, but I think yeah. okay. Back. Let me go ahead and get Trev in there. Go ahead, Trev. What are your thoughts about the substance and everything? And <clears throat> cool. So I'm gonna bring this to my favorite word, balance, right? So I don't want a completely silent house when I get in. I'd like to engage, right? But it has to be something that I want to talk about. Like, don't bring, when I come home, I don't want you to say, hey, you know what? I need you to uh, take out the trash or, oh, I, you know what? My car is messed up. I need you to, no, I want to walk into, hey, how was your day? Like, okay, you know what? I found this little movie I want us to watch or something like that. So that's cool right and and that's that's part of you know if you're doing something that's going to help me relax with you that's cool that's actually bringing peace versus you know someone coming in being extra like i understand what mr let go is saying with the silence part because sometimes like if i'm at work and i'm grinding yeah that's when that silence kick in so the main thing is for your significant other to be able to gauge right she has to have a good sense of how you are as a person. She has to know what it is that you like or what it is that you don't like. So she has to understand you just as a human being. All right, when he comes home, what does he like? And some of these things you can communicate to each other and some things you just pick up and watch them. You see how they do, you look at how they perform. So what you wanna do when you consider yourself to be pouring into a man is you find out what he's missing, what it is that you can aid him to make help him excel in life right are you do you know when he wants to relax do you know when he's hungry do you know when he wants to work when it's downtime and you learn that about your partner and especially if you're very observant right and you care then you'll learn these things about your partner so when a woman says she brings peace that can mean a lot of things it, it pretty much means to just understand your partner know what to do know about timing and execute accordingly but let me just add this to what Trev just said. Um, it's very important um, for a woman to be herself. Trev said to find out what a man wants. I don't want a woman that's going to find out what I want. That's cool, but I want you to be yourself. I want you to fit into my life, and I want me to fit in your life uh, organically, right? Because a lot of women have people pleasing uh, issues, right? They grew up with it and they assimilate with whatever environment they actually go in. So if a woman like, for example, Diamonds, if she comes around me, right, and she knows that she either likes chaos or is chaos, but she knows that I like a woman to sit her ass down somewhere for six months, she's going to sit down somewhere. But guess what? She's going to go crazy or either she's going to turn around. Oh. I lost myself in him and re resent me because I'm not the type of person that she needs to be with. Right. So I think it's dangerous 
for us to say a woman needs to come in and find out what a man wants. No, come in and find out if y'all are compatible. Y'all people please way too much and turn around and get mad eight months down the road because you are different. No, be yourself and allow a man to observe you and see if he wants to deal with you and you just you observe the man and see if you want to be with him as your own selves not your role selves trying to fit into some shit. i don't want no woman to fit into my life unless she's already it the woman in the video literally said i am peace that's who she is before she meets the man all right and like a real quick um i i wanted to just respond to that real quick now, I'm not saying at the expense of yourself, right? I don't want anybody to get confused. So if you know my man like his power shake when he get home and you put that together, that's not taking yourself out of character. If you know that he needs his quiet time between four and six when he's working on his content, like in my case, cool. Not at the expense of yourself. It's just understanding what his needs are and doing to catering to it to the best of your ability. It doesn't mean that you have to take out, take out of your character, just like me whatever i decide to do for my wife i'm not going to get out of character to do it i just understand what the needs are and I, oh and you know what i know she likes this i'm gonna go ahead and do that and it doesn't mean that i'm people pleasing per se but it's just understanding a person's wants or needs and fulfilling them to the best of my ability without compromising myself all right let me go to get all jasmine right. in there what are your thoughts about a substance everything to um, yes. Yeah. So I think if it comes to like substance, I think about um, adding value, like in what ways do you add value to the relationship? So I think for me, I would say I will, anytime I come into a situation, I'm trying to think, OK, what do they have going on? All right. What can I add to this? Um, it don't matter like whatever type of job they have or what type of lifestyle they're into. Like, I know if I meet someone that likes hiking or thrill seeking, then I'm not going to be the girl for them because I don't like that type of stuff. So I just I'll back away immediately. But if I meet someone that's like, oh, they're in the museums or history stuff, but I can add my wealth of knowledge about these same topics or something like that. Or if you like I said, if you like quiet. Oh, I love quiet. Let's just let's just be in a quiet space. Then let's watch movies and let's just you know be in a chill space i like to be chill I like to just be home watching law and order you know i like that type of stuff if you meet a party person then okay i might not add much value to that but i mean i can be cute if you want somebody to just be on your arm and something like that and i can do that for you too but you know i i would just like to think okay what i get what he's saying about people pleasing because yeah i do that a lot too we're just like okay you want to you know be the best version of yourself for that person based on their likes what they like you know um the way they receive love in that way so you'll learn you'll try to assimilate and be like okay uh they like words of affirmation so i'm gonna you know try to be this high speaking good grand rising king like type of person but when you know that's not your when you know that's not your real self you know that's not your inner being so eventually you're gonna be like okay i'm tired like i'm, I'm tired of saying that. i'm tired of doing that like it's getting a little draining and then so and then eventually yeah I, I i've definitely held that candle a lot so i feel that when i'm looking for a partner to come to me now now i'm more standing on the sense of hey, you know, I need you to be like this, or this is what I'm looking for. And I try to communicate those expectations up front now. We're like, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm going for. Can you add to my life? I'm a busy person. I work a lot. I need you to work a lot too, because you can't be a person that don't got no job and not working a lot. Cause then you always gonna be annoyed at the fact that I'm always busy doing something and you got too much time to spare. And now you just wanna talk all day when I get home. And I don't wanna talk. <laughs> like, I don't feel like talking. I don't feel like- See? I, I, I like that. <laughs> a, a woman who's just like, don't talk my ear off. I don't want to hear that like, shit. That that's that's my piece. I like that. We both <laughs> don't talk each other's ear off. I like that. Right. Because like what we gotta talk about. Like, you know, I'm kind of tired at this point. So, but right. we can uh, we will set days for when we can talk. How about we talk on the fifth and we're gonna discuss everything? Like, you gotta schedule that time with me now. So it's yeah. just <laughs> it's gotten a little annoying. But no, I get that. You just gotta know what what works for your person and what works for you too. Like it's not just women to men, it's men to women too. Cause I deal with a lot of headache men in the sense and they just hmm. they like to talk. 